Welcome back everyone to another dividend portfolio update video. If you're new here, on this channel I do weekly update videos going over my dividend portfolio after my weekly deposits. So let's see how my portfolio did this week and what I bought. So this week we can see I'm down about $250, down about 1% even with the weekly deposit. Let's see what we added. So we have received several dividends since last video. We have received $16.52 from Altria, $3 from SPHD, $12.54 from AT&T, $5.53 from General Mills, $6.44 from JP Morgan, and $14.55 from Verizon, equaling $57.92 we were able to spend. We put that across six buys, putting $5.03 into SPHD, $6.94 into AbbVie, $14.11 into Target, $3.69 into Texas Instruments, $7.40 into SPHD, and $20.75 into AT&T. Then we added our $100 weekly deposit, and that got split across 8 buys, putting another $11.51 into SPHD, another $5.43 into AT&T, another $3.05 into Texas Instruments, another $3.87 into Target, another $11.94 into SCHD, another $17.62 into AbbVie, and then we also had two additional buys with this $100. We put $45.74 into Walgreens and $1.46 into Broadcom. That totals our eight buys for $100.62. So since last video, we've put in $158, just about. We did reach a new goal. We now have $804 of annual dividend income coming in, which is just great. Our yield on cost is going up and our dividend yield is going up because the stocks are dropping this last week. Slow and steady is going to keep getting us more and more income. This video, I want to go over the five year charts of all of the holdings. So let's jump into that. Kimberly Clark's five year chart is actually looking pretty good. We started at 100, about $101, and we're sitting at $145. That's sitting really nice. And you can see it's actually going pretty sideways. It's been rejected twice here in this area and has now made a higher low. So it's going to keep going up. We're now breaking out of this range also. I think Kimberly Clark has got a ways to keep going. Going on to Clorox, five year chart. Started about $118 and is now sitting at $172. They kind of have a support, but not really. Their support kind of turned into, yeah, well, it's kind of a support again, also. I'll give it that. We've got a kind of major support level here in the 150 range, showing strong signs of bouncing off of it. Next resistance will be about 175, but the stock looks good overall and should keep going. Going into Colgate, Colgate started five years ago at $62 and is now sitting at $81.55. It's got a pretty defined channel going on. Looks like it's starting to break out, which is really a good sign for the bulls. And overall, it's stopping from going down. It's a strong stock. Procter & Gamble, Procter & Gamble has been killing it. It's from $73 all the way to $156. That's about double. That's over double. And as we can see, let's see if we have any support lines here. We kind of have a resistance turn support, which is a very good sign, and then a higher low. We're breaking out of this range. Price is looking to go upwards. General Mills. General Mills started at $42 and is now at its very all-time high, $89, 115% return. The chart on this is just outstanding. Pepsi, everybody's favorite snack company. Also a very beautiful chart. They started at $97 five years ago, also at an all-time high of 193. That's 96% return. Very nice channel, very good growth, sustainable, one of the best companies ran. McDonald's, everybody's favorite fast food in a pinch, started $164 five years ago and is now at an all-time high of 294, up 84%. Just a beautiful looking chart. Nice channel, it's broken out of a couple times here, but mainly it's going up and to the right. Might have a slight pullback here soon, but it's gonna be keeping going up and to the right. Very well ran company. Merck and Co's chart, five years. They started at $59 and are now at an all time high, up 105% to 116. Holy cow, 59 to 116. And look at this, 
This is just a beautiful leg up, relaxed consolidation period, and now it's most of the way through its second leg. I wish we had all time charts so we could look at them. This is just a piece of the puzzle. Very healthy company. What we like to see in the dividend portfolio, for sure. Let's check out JP Morgan stock. Not up too, too much, actually. Started around $110 and is about $130. While it didn't lose money, we've got a good support level in here. We've kind of got a lot of consolidation. We do have a higher high type of pattern going on here, so eventually this could kind of wiggle its way up there. JP Morgan's one of the best banks. I feel very confident with them, and that's why I own them as my banking stock with a nice 2.94% dividend yield. Altria, everybody's favorite tobacco stock, sin stock that they wanna own, whatever you'd like to call it. They actually started around $55 five years ago and are down 17% over five years. But for a stock that's paying an 8% yield, sideways is not a bad look. And after all this sideways consolidation, failing to go lower, there's really only one way left to go. So Altria, hold on to your seats. Air Products, five-year chart. They started at 163 and they are up now 84% to a $292 stock price. Their stock has kind of jumped all over the place. This is not what I would call consistent, but at the same time, they are fighting to make higher highs. They are definitely not making lower lows. So this is a, well, it's not the steadiest stock. Over time, it is going up. Try to go through these a little faster. Coca-Cola's five-year chart, they started around $42. They're now at 63, up 51%. Minus Covey. The Kobe crash, they have been going just like Pepsi. I mean, one of the best run businesses you can get. Their management team is second to none. Johnson & Johnson, one of the best consumer companies out there, started around $123, and now they're up 32% at $162. Their stock is actually gaining very consistently. Just now starting to have a pullback. If I had to suspect, it's because to make room for a new higher high. It's just growing so fast. Verizon, now Verizon and AT&T, definitely not the best stocks in the world, but they have a pretty high yield to offset them. But at the rate they've been falling, it's still something to think about. They started around $47 five years ago, and now they're 20% down over five years, paying a 6.84% dividend yield though. They've also kind of been bottoming this year. So hopefully we have some upside in the future. We can get appreciation uh, instead of depreciation. Realty Income, my favorite monthly payer for sure. Over the last five years, started around $52 and is now around $61. That's up about 18 to 19%. I will take it. For something that's going to pay me almost 5% every single month, even after this COVID drop, I mean, they fought their way back like nothing, just like clockwork. This stock is very healthy, very well ran. It's my favorite dividend REIT. Union Pacific Railways, five-year chart. Oh yeah, if you had to guess. They were sitting around 134 five years ago, and now they're sitting around 195. That's up about 50%. That is a very good return, 10% a year on average, just about over the five years. They are, on, and that's with this multi-month pullback. Great buying opportunity. Looks like it's ready for another leg up. Brings us to Broadcom, very healthy. Started at 242 and is now at $610. That is 172% gain. This thing is growing like nobody's business. Even with this massive pullback, you can see it's already made most of its since 2022 losses back. It's almost at a new all time high already. I mean, this stock cannot be kept down. Very nice dividend yield, 2.84%. Growing like this, we'll take it. The Home Depot, their five-year chart, I would bet it would be up. Started around $183 five years ago. Even with this massive pullback, they're still up 60%. Guys, this is a great dividend stock. Almost 3% dividend yield on a massive pullback. It's flattening out. It's not making any lower lows. It's actually making higher lows. This is a great time to get in and start adding because we will test these highs again. SPHD, just about flat. Started around $40 five years ago and is right at $41. That's about 5% give or take over five years. But it's been paying you a handsome 4.2% dividend yield, give or take, that whole time. 
and you've had comfort in managing your downside because it is managed on its own. Texas Instruments, very nice. They started around $100, and now even with this big pullback, they're at $162, up about 60%. This chart looks very nice, okay? You can see we have a huge leg here. They tried to keep it consolidating right here for another leg, but the bears were just a little too strong, but now the bulls aren't letting it go any lower. This is the bottom, I would, I would have to bet. Nonetheless, this is a great time to start putting some money in on a good pullback. Pays a 2.93 dividend yield, and it will definitely will retest the highs. We're getting to the end here, folks. We got SCHD, their five-year chart, very nice. Definitely better than SPHD, just for those who are wondering. Started around $49 five years ago, $48, and now is up 48% to almost $70. They have been going sideways for about a year and a half, two years now. Great time to get in. Remember, leg up, cool off period, and then a leg up. We're going to have a very good next couple years. We've got four companies left. ABV, definitely looking pretty bad. Started off kind of bad in 2019. We've got 105 back five years ago with a low as low as $65, but not today. Up to $147, up almost 50%, and it's basically going sideways. I think we're not too far off the highs. We're not making lower lows. We're actually making higher lows, and that high is going to be tested. ABV, a great spot to be getting in also. AT&T. Now you've heard me talk about it when we were talking about Verizon. They're not doing too, too hot. $31 five years ago. Holy cow, $17 today. That is negative almost 50% AT&T. What are you doing? Look, I do not advise investing into AT&T. Invest at your own risk in this bad boy, but you will get paid handsomely a 6.5 dividend yield. Target, a very, very well-ran company on a massive pullback that's not before seen. Five years ago, we were sitting at $70. Man, you could have just put all your money in there and it would have just, you know, 3x just about. Shoo wee But no, five years ago, $73 to where we are today. Still, we're at $151, up 117%. And this is a massive pullback, guys. Every single person loves Target. Target has great value. Mark my words, we will retest the highs. This is a good enough buy just if you want to play it to the highs. And the very last stock, if you guys are still watching, you're the real channel viewers. Walgreens started at $62 five years ago and is down a whopping 48.6% down to $31. It has been kind of arguably making a bottom this last two, three years, but that if it breaks this low, we're, we're kind of, that's out of the picture. We need it to kind of bounce up and we need to start retesting this high here. If we can get it to come back up here and retest this, we won't be looking so bad. But if we break this low, Walgreens is in trouble. That's going to be all 25 of my positions here. Today, the portfolio sits around $21,918. We're up $453 so far, around 2.72%, guys. We've got $160, give or take, in dividends. And if this is your first video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We do weekly update videos every single Friday. I would love to have you on the journey. We're building our way to financial freedom through this dividend portfolio, and I would love you guys to follow along. Thank you to everybody that made it this far in the video. Happy investing. Until next week, peace.